Okay, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, we're a company called Red Ninja. Uh, we're a design uh, technology company based in Liverpool. And we work, we've been working for the last five, six years predominantly with healthcare and social care organizations up and down the country. We heard quite a lot today about co-creation or co-production, user-centered design, human-centric design. There's lots of different labels you can give to this. We have a really simple way of thinking about it. We call it listen, think, and do. So every project that we work on, this was one we worked on with uh, young people in Bolton to design um, a, an app with the CAM service there. We put the service users at the heart of what we do. What we're going to talk to you about today, though, is um, a little product that we made a couple of years ago. We developed this in partnership with Merseycare. And it's a self-managing mental health tool. It's designed to um, provide a simple way for people to reflect on where they are and maintain balance. So a little bit like the, the traffic light system, there's a way in there of being able to say, how am I feeling today? What kind of support do I need? How can I use some of the things that I already have in my pocket that are going to help me? Maybe that's photographs, maybe that's videos, maybe that's ways of connecting with other people. In terms of how we developed it, we worked um, with 20 young people. We worked, met with them every week uh, for over a year. And these were predominantly young teenagers. So they were either um, at school doing their GCSEs, they'd maybe left to, to go to university, or they were actually out of education. So we got a real cross-section of people involved, and we, we got some really good insights from that. The app itself um, has a mood diary within it, and predominantly for the young person, as I said, it provides them those distraction techniques that can help them. We've also talked today about the sort of power of evaluation and looking back at, well, what impact did this have? Um, we actually worked with uh, an independent evaluation team from Nottingham University and they looked at both the kind of the user experience, the usage of it, and also the sort of clinical impact. It's been downloaded um, all over the world. We can see that from the, the App Store, and it is now today prescribed by GPs. So when a teenager comes in and says that they may be suffering with some, some issues, it is handed out, as we talked about before. Maybe this needs to happen a bit more often. We aren't one, a company who has just one uh, sort of project or, or product, maybe different to other people. We are actually now working with other CAMS trusts to develop the idea of in hand, but to look at how we can extend that further. I think this goes back to the point of, you know, let's not reinvent the wheel. How can we build on the success of something in one area and take it to the next level? So we're actually working with Bolton CAMS Trust at the moment to develop a a tool that will provide that self-management angle, but then also how do we integrate that with um, some of the routine outcome measures and how they record that information in, in IAPTIS, and also how does it carry a bit of patient information around with people. And also a project ongoing at the moment with uh, the University of Reading, which is around how do we digitize uh, an existing CBT uh, course and develop a, a children's game. We've not got a panda, we've got a purple monster, and he's called Ozzy, uh, <laughs> which kind of uh, aligns to their online support and intervention tool. So that's us, that's Red Ninja. Uh, I'll be at the table over there and happy to chat to anyone.